What's up ninjas, it's your boy Owner here back with another FIFA Mobile video. Yes guys, back on a daily grind. I'm still at my mother's home. I'll be here for like another six days, but in the meantime, I can post video, which is obviously great. Now, in today's video, we'll go ahead and talk about the season five players. I didn't get a chance to talk about them yet. We'll talk about which are the best investments for the upcoming tournament, for the weekend tournament. And of course, when it's time to invest in them. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, first things first, guys. Let's go ahead and see which are the players, the Tacmo players, the Season 5 players. I think we can find them here, right? Yep. Now, let's go ahead and start with the goalkeepers. Let's talk about them. Let's see their prices right now. And also, let's see if they can drop even further in the next days. Uh, as goalkeepers, we have Subasic as our elite goalkeeper. The only elite goalkeeper and the only gold goalkeeper is Pickford. Now, if we're gonna look at Pickford's stats, he's an amazing card, guys. He has very, very good stats for a 77 goalkeeper. Let's also check Subasic stats. He doesn't have that bigger stats, like that bigger difference. But because there are only two goalkeepers, I think both of them will be very, very requested. People will try to get them. So the demand for them would be good. Now, let's see if they are good investments, if we can invest in them. Let's check their prices right now. Now, our boy Pickford, that 77 card, looks like he's around 75k, some at 80k, even at 50, 60k. I think this is a good price, guys. This might actually be a very good price. I'm not sure if he'll drop in the next couple of days. He might drop only if we're gonna get lots of gold players, gold rewards. If not, I think he is a, at a very, very low price, guys. He might be a very, very good investment. Let's check Subasic now. So, Subasic, wow, it's another very cheap car, guys. For, I mean, very cheap. He's pretty cheap, yeah? Around 400k. Okay, so they did drop a lot. I'm pretty sure when the weekend tournament was on, they were like nine. This Subasic car should have been like 800, 900k. My, who knows, maybe even more. Now let's go ahead and check uh, the rewards a bit because uh, this is very very important. Depending on what rewards we're gonna get next, day prices might drop even further. I know I'm not yet at the 28 level in World Class Level 3, but I know if you have completed all of the matches, you have been here. So next we have 20k training XP, midfielder skill boost and elite player guys. A free to play elite player that everybody will claim I think tonight after the daily activities reset so in the next 24 hours elites should drop even further so that's when I think we should buy Subasic or the elite cards whatever season 5 elite cards we want to invest in in the next 24 hours starting today when daily activities reset they should be at their lowest so that's when I think the price will drop for the elite cards um, they are already pretty low, but yeah, they should go down even further and it looks like that's pretty much it in terms of free-to-play elites until the tournament is on or even free-to-play goal cards. So probably the goal cards, you can even buy them right now. Peak for it again, it's a very, very needed card, a card that during tournament will be needed a lot. So yeah, I think he can go up to 150k for sure. I'll definitely buy a couple of him. Now let's take a look at the other players as well. Let's see uh, what else we can invest in or even to build our squads, guys. Let's see which are the best the best defenders. Let's look at the defenders right now. We have a 76 center back here. Uh, Jikiao, I think that's how you pronounce his name. That has good, good speed. Very good acceleration. Insane tackling and marking for a 76 card. Okay, okay. I think this is a good card, guys. I think this is a good card. We also have Juan Jesus that has very, very good defending sprint speed. Like, okay, okay. Another very, another good card. The marking is on the lower side for Juan Jesus, but the other, the other stats are very, very good, or at least decent, right? He might be one of the other ones that, uh, yeah, are very, very needed. So we have two goal cards as center backs. Wow, and that's it. Oh, and Vogt. Vogt is the other one. Vogt is the other one that I think it's a beast. Yep. 
Vogt is a beast guys, 80 center back Vogt, everybody would like to have this guy in their team, let's check his price, uh, let's also look at the other, yeah let's look at the other ones as well. So our boy Vogt is very cheap guys, he's very very cheap, 300k, let's see if he's below 300k, let's see if that's the case. Okay, one is here at 299, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get him, I'll tell you this though, everybody should have this this card in their teams, in their tournament teams, and I, I think everybody will want to get him in the tournament mode, and yep, uh, I think he will be a very very good investment, again he might drop more, but I think even at 300 I think he's a very very good investment guys, he might drop even further uh, in the next 24 hours, but He'll not drop like to like 200k, he'll not drop that much, he'll probably drop to like 260 to 70, uh, I'm not sure though, I'm not sure. He might even go up after this video, just because lots of you will buy, try to buy whatever they can, and for like 8 to 10 hours his price might seem ridiculously high, but after that uh, he should drop, right? All the players that will rise after my video, they should stabilize in like one two days so yeah you should have enough time to invest in him before friday night let's let's check the other cards as well let's check juan jesus so our boy 78 cards 150k eh, he could be he could be a good one but i'm not sure he could go up to like 300k yes he could he can go up that much but at the same time it is a bit risky though it is a bit risky the 76 card is around 60k, actually it's lower than 60k, I think he can go up to like 100k, he should be able to, yeah. Oh, actually 50k, you know what, let's let's buy a couple, I'm gonna buy a couple at around 50k. He has similar stats to that Juan Jesus guy, and he's lower rated, which matters a lot in tournament teams, because yeah, you want to have as low uh, of a rating as possible to, to have... Uh, higher rated cards up front at least that's what I do during tournament mode now let's also check some strikers guys let's check some strikers and let's see which are the best or uh, the ones that have the biggest potential to rise we have only one striker 79 striker Gabbiagini okay okay with a shooting boost wow this might be a very very good card wow this is crazy guys with a shooting boost there my god those finishing stats he doesn't have he even has very good sprint speed his acceleration is on the poorer side but it's not that bad oh we have the frail as well here let's check him up oh the frail with a nice sprint speed and acceleration very good shell power you know what the frail might be a good card as well what else let's check the elite cards muriel wow well we have great strikers guys great season 5 strikers i'll tell you that uh, he's not that good on the long shot side, but people might still use him a lot, Muriel here. Yeah, we have three strikers. Out of these three, uh, I'd go with Gabi Adini, uh if I can upgrade him to like 94, 95 base. I think at that point he'll have insane sprint speed and acceleration, and he'll have like the best shooting stats. Let's check the Frels and Gabi Adini prices though. They might be the ones to invest in. If we can find the frail, let's see. So, our boy the frail is around 145, 112, 134 here, okay. If we can get him around 130 or below, he might be a good investment, guys. He might be a good investment. 120, okay, let's buy this one at 120. Uh, it's not that bad, 120. He might go out to like 280 to 90, 70 cars do that. So, our boy Gabbiadini for a 79 card is like 160k. Okay, okay. And you can see him around 320, 350. This is a very, very interesting card, guys. A very, very interesting card. In terms of stats, I think he's the best card. And if we can get him around 150k, and as you can see, there are some cards that are getting sniped below 160k. If we can get him around this price, I think we we're gonna have a good investment I'm not gonna snipe him right now I'm gonna see there after the video but yeah this all might be very good investments guys 
Now before we're gonna end this video, let's go ahead and get our rewards. We have some rewards that we can get. Uh, not too many or not incredible rewards, but we can get some gold players, some elite players here and there. Let's see what our luck is gonna be. Let's see if we're gonna get like 78 plus cards. Seven or whatever. Okay, 72 cards. Oh, okay, we get Gabbiazzini here. Okay, that's great. This is great. We actually got a very, very good card. Hopefully, he'll go up to 300k uh, Friday night. That's when we should sell, guys. Friday night, all uh, all um, all prices should go up there when the tournament kicks in. So that's when we need to sell Skeleto and 77 Dufour. Okay, okay. We're actually getting good players. We're actually getting good players here and there. Nice. Let's also get our lead boy. Let's get that 84, 85 card Robin. That would be good. If we can get the Robin card. Woohoo! We actually got one. We got the best one, guys. We got the best one. Again, I'm gonna wait to sell him on uh, Friday night. That's crazy. That's crazy. We got the best card that we could get. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Let's also get the skill boost in here. And whatever. Can we get other players? Okay, we can get three pairs here, and after that I'm gonna claim the rewards uh, by myself because those are like shitty rewards, and you don't want to see that. 75 and a 79 Fabian. Okay, okay. So actually we got very very lucky. We were very very lucky in these three four packs that they opened. I'll probably do a tournament video on Friday or Saturday, but I kind of don't know what to do tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So yeah, let me know what you want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed, shared, all that good stuff. I'm out. Peace.